What does it mean to experience God? Uh, the story of Rebecca offers us a fascinating perspective on this question. Uh, when we are first introduced to her in Genesis 24, it's in the context of her meeting a stranger uh, at a well. Eventually, the stranger asks, who are you? And she answers confidently, I am Rebecca, the daughter of Bethel. Um, she is, in fact, the first biblical character that uses this word I or Anaki in Hebrew to refer to her own identity. A uh, f few paragraphs further, we find this stranger, which is actually the servant of Abraham. We find him in uh, a conversation with the family. They're trying to work out when, if Rebecca can go with him, when she can go. <laughs> And Rebecca steps into this conversation and again boldly declares, I will go. And so the way in which we are introduced to Rebecca is a person with uh, a lot of self-confidence, somebody who knows who she is and what she wants and what she will do. Then the next time we read the words I or anarchy coming out of the mouth of Rebecca, something has obviously happened because there is a transformation from this confidence into this existential crisis of why I uh, that's in Genesis uh, 25. Now, I'm not going to tell the whole story, but part of the story is she, she goes with the servant, she marries Isaac, and she finds herself in a situation where she is barren. Barrenness introduces a new reality. Uh, the self-assured, self-confident Rebecca faces a situation that leaves her confused. You know, we can, we can often have confidence in our own identities, in our own stories, but somewhere along this journey, you will most likely, <laughs> almost assuredly, find yourself in a situation that does not make sense, that does not fit within the framework of, of your interpretation and understanding. And Rebecca finds herself in that position. Barrenness within the biblical dramas is a recurring theme, and very often it's a protracted and long struggle, and eventually the lady gets pregnant, and that's the crescendo of the story. But... Um, in Rebecca's case, the, the overcoming this struggle is actually quite simple. Isaac prays for her and she falls pregnant, she conceives. But instead of that being the end of the story, it opens up a new complexity, a, a, a new difficulty. It's the beginning of a new struggle. See, the pregnancy of Rebecca it can be seen as this profound metaphor for discovering the other within the self. And for the self-assured, for a person who knows who they are, who's confident in what they want, that can be a very unsettling, destabilizing experience, that there is a part of me that I do not know. There is a part of me that's more complex than my simple certainties. And this is within this context that Rebecca asked this profound question of why I. It, it, it takes her into a place of encountering God 
in the midst of complexity. She starts off confident. She, she goes where she wants to go. She becomes pregnant, the very thing she thought she wanted. But at that point, where the very thing she thought she wanted happens and she has it, she realizes it does not satisfy. I am more complex <laughs> than the simple story that might have worked for others. And that is where she has a profound experience of God. A God who doesn't just restore her simple certainties, but a God who comes and he affirms her complexity. I want to read you a little bit. This is Dr. Aviva Zornberg in her book, The Murmuring Deep. She writes this about Rebecca's experience. God's word to her communicate an elusive, ambiguous mirroring of her own disunity. In a sense, God is confirming her experience of fragmentation, separation. Two nations shall split from your bowels. Her children, her interiority are to be both alien, separate, absent from each other and from her and eternally present to her. Her life is forever bound up with them. The i constituted by the interplay of conscious and unconscious aspects of experience. See, much like Rebecca, I think each one of us are pregnant with otherness. Uh, there is more to me than the self I am certain of. Um, becoming aware of this complexity might be difficult. At times it might even be unbearable. But it is finding the balance and finding the peace within this complexity that opens up new possibilities of meaning. This is a place in which encounter with God can find a new form and new meaning in your life.